ZL Entertainment. Let's sit right here. All right. Gonna have ourselves a bit of a ham and cheese sandwich and a pear. And we'll wash it all down with some mead. Ah, that was great. That was lovely. How do we get up? Oh, cool. Let's just sit down for a while. Ah, that was a good dinner. Ah, wasn't it? What time is it? 10 o'clock. Uh Um All right. Welp. Had our food for the night. I think I'm going to do some nighttime exploring. Where shall we go? I would be doing this in real life if I could. So, that's that place. Stables are right here. And we need to go that way. There's an inn, like, right here, if I remember right. Um, not that my character would know that. Well, I am playing as myself, so I do know a little bit. Like, I've been here, but I don't really remember it. I think I've been here once, and I didn't like it. I've never been here. I, this is probably this is one of my favorite places to go to the blue road this reminds me of like Wizard of Oz there's like yeah there's a lot of different like silver road orange road the red road blue road yellow road like the gold road um because in the Wizard of Oz stuff, oh, in the Black Road, there's actually not just the Yellow Brick Road, but there's also like the Silver Road, the Blue Road, stuff like that as well. We've got the Yellow Road over here. Uh, Leia Wynn, yeah, I've been there a few times. Reveal, I don't really remember that. Skingrad, I don't remember that. Wait, isn't that where the winery is, like, mostly at? I've definitely been to Anvil. And I've kind of been to Gavach. Um, so yeah, I've kind of explored, but I haven't done much. You know, blind after all. Mostly blind. So, oh, we can still check it here though too, so. Uh, but I want to go this way. It's really um, weird. I don't like the the thing at what the bottom. It, it's really annoying. Is this the way we go? Speak. Yeah, I think this is the way we're going. <laughs> All right. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jolring. I come on behalf of my master, Umbakano. Okay. He asked me to deliver this note. I believe it is an invitation to visit him at his manor in the Imperial City. Uh, who is he? My master is a collector of alien antiquities. It has come to his attention that you recently sold an item that interests him. Okay. I believe the note will give you all the details. Alrighty. Be seeing you. Maybe. Let's, uh... Oh, you just follow me just to give me this letter. That's cool. So... My servant, no doubt, has already explained I am an avid collector of alien antiquities. Yep. As such, your recent sale of a rare alien statue piqued my interest. I am most eager to acquire more of these statues for my collection and will be happy to remu remunerate... I don't think I ever heard that word before. You handsomely for your efforts. 
I would be pleased to welcome you to my home in the Imperial City in order to discuss this matter in more detail at your earliest convenience. Remain most sincerely, Ubancano. Talith Plaza. Okay. Yeah. That's that gives us something to do. What? Are you gonna attack me? I thought these guys went inside. I wasn't gonna steal one, but I was thinking about it. But I'd rather run and get my athletics up. <laughs> I mean, I literally... If you wanted to, you could just do this. I could just, like, stand here, like, sit here and just be like, uh... And my athletics will just freaking go up like this. I did that in Marwind a few times. I, like, did this. Went away and did stuff for, like, the day. And then came back and, like, my athletics went up, like, 10 or 20 or something like that. Like, let's see where it's at right now. It's about halfway. Let's see if it works in Oblivion. Because I only did that in Morrowind. It went up like very little. Maybe you have to be slightly moving. I want to see if it still works in this game. It does. It's going up. So yeah, I could I could be doing that if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but yeah, oh, I'll be able to get my athletics up, and then um, don't have to really worry about that all that much. I found a way. You need that to make cheese. <laughs> I actually don't need it to make cheese. It's already in the cheese. I don't think it would be stealing if I took this stuff, but I'd rather be uh, careful. Actually, might as well save because I need to. Make sure that actually saved. It did. Take my gold piece. Cool. What's this? Of course it's the inn. Cool. Nope. Nope. Still not the time I usually go to bed. Nothing in here. Here. Hmm. So we can go to Coral, Bruma, Shaden Hall. What happens if you click on these? Nothing. This way we can go to Leowin, Breville, Anvil, Kavach. I like how that has three marks in it. And Skingred. Um. Doesn't say which way is the uh, Wayne and Priory. I think Wayne and Priory is actually one of the ones that's like a little s small town that's not inside anywhere. Um, well, it's not really a town though, then, is it? Um, I think I might be able to make that. You guys think I can do that? Let's try. I 
Oh, we're going outside now, though. Or out of town, so let's put on our... Let's go behind here. Gotta be realistic, right? There's a window there. Somebody could, like, look out. Could look out and see me, couldn't they? Well, it's kind of dark, so... If I go, like, right here... Alright, um... So... We're gonna put on this... Let's take our shoes off. And then we can take our pants off. And then... There we go. Now we can put that on. I think we have everything. We have the bracers as well, right? Yeah. Cool. Alright. And... It's Monday. I believe, that if I remember, that that's Monday, Middas. That's kind of funny. I like how the mountains look in the background. Buckets and a crate with nothing in it. Alright, and a barrel over here with nothing in it. So, Imperial City, Skingrad, Kvach, Anvil, Coral, Bruma. I think I need to go this way. I do. What is this? It's just like a little dock. It is. Well, that's cool, I guess. Alright, so... Oh, enemy up ahead, I think. No, it's just a guard. Alright. Um, and what little I played of this, I'm just still like hella confused of what, where to go and what to do. City, Coral, I believe that's the way we need to go. Getting pretty close to the time I usually go to bed. This kind of sucks, I really want to get a pet wolf, but uh, I'm not a dog person, but I do like wolves. They're awesome. They're always enemies in games, it kind of sucks. I mean, they're not enemies in my game, but... Wait, what? Oh, it's not that way. There we go. That wolf turned me around. I thought it was that way. Now this is the earliest I usually go to bed. Is 2 in the morning.
I wonder if we'll make it to the town when I do usually lately go to bed. <laughs> Sometimes, at latest. Which you probably guessed is, of course, three. Usually between two and three is when I go to bed. Um, nothing around here, so that's good. I don't think we're going to get to the Wayne and Priory by three. Hmm. Wonder how far away it is. Now we're still like barely halfway there. Wow, and that took like two hours. Too bad I can't set up camp in this game. Got to get a mod for that as well. I don't remember this area. Enemies here, I'm guessing. I'd normally explore, but I want to get... I still want to somewhat roleplay this as I would, so... Right now, my... Uh, if, if I, this really was me here, I'd be, like, really tired. I'd just be running on fumes, so to speak, at this point. Mostly just, like, the cold night air keeping me awake, and... Weird sounds in the forest just keeping me going yeah I guess I didn't make it now I have been known to go to bed really really late rare times at 4 oh we found a farm they're not gonna let me stay there it's gonna be locked you run faster if this is... It's about the same. This might be slightly faster, but it doesn't feel like it's all that much faster. Wait, what's this? Bruma? Oh, Wayne and Priory's around here. And it's almost four, so... Do I have a place to sit? Whoa, bloody women drivers. If you know what that's a reference to, I um... I have a what is it? Hey, I'm talking. If you know what that's a reference from, then, uh... Cookie to you. Good golly. That's a reference to another um, LP -er. And I already said I only watched maybe one or two people play this. In fact, there was two. I watched a little bit of Gix and a little bit of uh, Variax. I think that's it. I may possibly have... Uh... Excuse me. Can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Maverell? I see. Strange visitors appearing late at night. Happens all the time here. Go on. I think you'll find what you're looking for upstairs. Thank you. Can I actually use these beds? Alright, 
and I like to sleep for seven hours but in the summertime it's nine um, let me check one thing I want to see what time last seed is all right so last seed is actually August um, so this is August 29th for earth time so I'm definitely only going to be sleeping seven hours because in the summer's time, are you kidding me? I'm lucky if I can get five or six hours in. There we go. Oh, nice. Let's do speed and agility. Oh, we can do three. Well, definitely going to do strength then. So it is still kind of like my, my Morrowind like that. You realize that all your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. So I'm glad to have strength because it will help me with um, more carrying space. And I believe for every point of strength, you get five pounds. So I should get 10 pounds extra. So 235 now. That'll be nice. Awesome. Um, and it is now 11 in the after. Uh, technically, it's in the morning still. So that's cool. I could, like, talk to him. But I don't know if my character would care. Alright. Um... Anybody's let's go over here where nobody can see us. Although there's a window right there. Alright. Let's take our shoes off. Man, this is hardcore role playing right here. Like actually taking my shoes off first. <laughs> take the shoes off and let's take off the greaves. And then put my pants on. Ugh, man, tight pants. Put these shoes on. Let's don't need a shield anymore. Let's um, take our bracers off. And then take that off. Think we can get any ladies shirtless like this? Just oh. <laughs> uh, get our dark shirt on and yeah. Coolio. Yep, 235 now. Nice. We have 2,800 gold already. Jeez. Still, it's hard to get gold in this game, and I still have a lot. Not enough to get a house. I believe the freaking houses are like ten or 20,000. And I think the horses are 5,000. Not that I'm going to get a horse. But, um, yeah. You can get a lot of gold in this game still, but it's still not enough. Awesome. Well, um, what should we do? Steal? Probably not. Not here. So I could talk to the dude. I could take these pears and the fruits and vegetables? Really? That's so cool. You are the person I need to speak to, right? Yeah. Can I take your garlic, sir? Oh, can I take these? Oh, I want them so bad. Is there a way I can steal them? I think... Yeah, that's considered stealing. These are stealing. I don't know how much you have to steal to get, um, I don't know how much you have to steal to be, to get, um, the Thieves Guild, like, after you. To have somebody bump into you and be like, oh, excuse me. And you can be like, hey, you bumped into me, and they'll be like, what? No, I didn't. Something like that. Yeah, it doesn't have hands on these. I don't know what to do. 
Oh no, it does have a hand on this as well. So that would be stealing. Damn, that sucks. I didn't see it before. Ah, oh, it would be stealing. Damn. Okay. Well, I definitely can't steal it right in front of him. What is it now? Whoa, where the hell did you come from? You weren't there before. I'm gonna go outside and think about what to do. But first, let's check to see, uh... Let's check to see what, um, how long I've been recording. Alright, two and a half hours. Normally this would be a normal session, but since I, the game messed up on me a few times, um, I'm going to have to record for a little bit longer. We got some sheep in here. Um, so, let's look at the journal. Can deliver the amulet, which we're right here, so we could technically do that. Which means, if I do this, I'll have done more for the main quest line than I've ever done before. Because <laughs> I've never even done this. I never even came here before. We could do the collector. Could do seeking your roots. I want to do that. That's something I really want to do. And we'll be doing this expansion a little bit later on. Dunbarrow Cove. I'll do that later. Ah, uh, do I want... I don't know which one I want to do. Uh, I really miss the quest journal in Morrowind. I like that one much more. But then again, this one is much better than the one in Skyrim. Holy hell. Um, should we go, like, check Coral? You know, I think I'm going to see what we have here. I'll talk to Joffrey and see what we need to do. And then go stop off at the next area. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? You ain't my brother. Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? I was there when he died. You'd better explain yourself. Now. Oh, I have to? Well, that's fucked up. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Ah. Uh... As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. I hate there's no choice in the game. <sighs> the Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived mm -hmm. some threat mm -hmm. from Oblivion. Okay. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Why even... If there's only one option, why even bother? I'm not sure. Only the Emperor's yeah, truly I'm not understand sure either, the dude. meaning I'm behind not sure. the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. Whippy. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark. Cool. For the first time in centuries. Sounds good. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards. <sighs> One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. 
A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything.